Well, both of you, tell me a little bit about um, <clears throat> your your friendship and being roommates and and, and both uh, being in the running for Mr. Mountaineer and how all that worked out and everything. I, I just think that's a really cool um, mm. a cool thing that that uh, it's like I was telling you earlier. It, it's a uh, it's unusual that you know even that one you know. Yeah. alum at Herbert Hoover or Elk River, you know, uh, is up for Mr. Mountaineer, let alone two, and and that one of you wins it. And then the, the kicker is that you're best friends and roommates. <laughs> so t- tell me a little bit about that dynamic, because that's, that's pretty cool. Well, interesting enough, it was that both of us didn't even know, like, that we had applied. So the way that it works was it, application is kicked out to those who are uh, eligible with, I GPA. Think, with the correct GPA and mm-hmm. and uh, so I was approached by my office because uh, you have to be nominated by an office or a college so the office that I work for approached me and said have you considered applying for this we'll endorse you and we'll pay your fee uh, I think it's like a $20 fee that the office has to pay and uh, I was like sure so I filled out my application and uh, and then uh, I think I filled it out two days before it was due and um, so I had applied, and I didn't even think about it because it was, I think it was midterm week. So it was like really I know busy. I had a lot of stuff. Yeah, it was like really busy. And then we, I think Friday or something, I got an email. I was like, oh crap, like Hunter, I'm Mr. Mountaineer finalist. And he was like, no way, me too. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I, uh, I thought it was a different award. I thought it was Homecoming King. Which is like kind of a bogus award at WVU. It's a fact. And kid. so we, I got the email about it. And yeah, I, that was like the week prior, wasn't it? Yeah. Homecoming yeah. week one. It's like the, you have to vote. Whereas Mr. Mountaineer, it's like you have to interview. And you're selected. And you're selected. Okay, so, that was going to be my and, next question: is how do they determine, you know, who the, you know, so so yeah, tell tell me yeah. a little bit about that process. What Hunter? Well, um, Mr. Mountaineer. I mean, we don't really know how they determine the applications. I guess. I mean, you wrote. We wrote. Three essays. Yeah, three essays. Was it two? I think it was two. I remember. We wrote like two or three essays. Uh, one was like, what makes you a mount- like a true mountaineer? And then the other one was, write about your most significant extracurricular experience. Hmm. And you write those essays, you uh, fill out an application that they have that asks you like, what you're involved with, you know, all that Basic stuff. Basic resume stuff. Yeah. And then you send it in in your application and then they chose five finalists and of those we all interviewed and you know one thing I found interesting uh, among those those finalists that they selected all of them were from West Virginia with the exception of one mm-hmm. one was from Pennsylvania right. is there any prerequisite there that you have to be from West Virginia or no, that you no. should I be or I think being from West Virginia allows you to answer the why you're a true mountaineer question better. Yeah. I, like, I, I mean, I know right. I, I wrote true. about it in my essay and it probably, it wasn't the biggest selling point of my essay, but I mean, it, it definitely was part of it. Cause I mean, I, I agree. Yeah. I, mean, I think it goes back to what you said to me earlier on the phone today, Garrett, where you said kind of growing up here in this area, WVU is just kind of in, ingrained in you. It's part of you, you right. know? So I think, yeah. I think Hunter made a great point there. There's probably, a lot easier for you guys to answer that particular question in the yeah. interview than it would be, you know, for for somebody out of state. Right. It just doesn't feel that yeah. that same vibe that we grew up with. Probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the girl there was the girl that wasn't from West Virginia. I think she's right across the border. Yeah. So yeah. regardless, you you kind of were familiar with the purpose of WVU and knew that they are a land grant institution. They serve the state, like you said, the WVU. Uh, law students they do a lot of really cool work and they do a lot of service around the state so you know being a student at WVU you kind of have that service mentality about the state and uh, not saying it doesn't go beyond that but you know your main focus at WVU with your extracurriculars are a lot of times aimed at state support state community state philanthropy yeah so that's probably why a lot of us well guys you're great representatives of the Elk River area and and Herbert Hoover and um, I know there's a lot of people here that's extremely proud of you, and I know I am for one, but I know there's a lot of people here that are extremely proud of you, and I wish both of you 
Much luck in your future. I have no doubts in either one of you <laughs> that you'd be highly successful in life. Thank right. you. Thank so. you.